The Big Mean Kitty. Mm -hmm. Dada wrote this book. Once upon a time, there was a cat that was so big that when he went to Tokyo, Godzilla ran and hid. His teeth could cut through diamonds and his claws were razor sharp. With just one look alone, his evil eyes could stop your heart. Yeah, it's your kitty. But no one dared to stop him, for his mass was just too great, and anyone who'd try would just get crushed under his weight. His muscles were like mountains, and his fur like solid steel. With an appetite so big, he'd drink a lake with every meal. He is the big mean kitty! He is the big mean kitty! He is the big mean kitty! He is the mean kitty! <laughs> every flight would cancel if it crossed the kitty's path, and everyone could hear him when he took his kitty bath. <laughs> and every time the sun came up, you'd hear his kitty roars. And when he made the chocolate, everybody stayed indoors. Indoors, yeah, I stayed indoors. <laughs> his purr sounded louder than thunder as it shook the ground below and his static charge was off the charts with a strength we'll never know. I know, it's so, so crazy. With satellites and lasers, we can call that furry beast. So when food got low in the west, we could drive their big mean kitty to the east. Here's the big mean kitty. Here's the big mean kitty. Here's the big mean kitty. Then one day a light appeared far up in the northern sky. An asteroid so big you could see him with the naked eye. But no one saw it coming till that fateful day in spring. And the only hope we had was that big kitty we called me. Life on Earth would be no more if that big kitty failed. But when the asteroid came, it was the kitty who prevailed. Then suddenly that big mean kitty bursted out with joy as he found out that fiery rock made the perfect kitty toy. What's a kitty say? <laughs> he is the big mean kitty. He's the big mean kitty. He is the big mean kitty. And he's not very mean, is he? Cho, Cho, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Is that your kitty? <laughs> the end.